is happening guys Jonathan here aka crazy shadow 303 here with another match vlog on crazy shadow talks football a slightly different intro today normally as you know if you've been watching my vlogs I would do the um, the intro on the way to the game meaning I would be outdoors uh, two reasons for that one as you can see it's pitch black outside um, you know the darker nights are setting in uh, it's that time of year, so obviously, you know, I want you guys to be able to obviously see me um, while I'm doing the intros. And second of all, um, I've had to do a couple of extra hours at work, so I literally only finished work about an hour and a half ago. It's now half past five. Um, I was meant to finish work at two o'clock, but you know how it is. Um, asked to do a few extra hours and haven't had much time to... Uh, to get home and get ready properly so uh, yeah i'm really looking forward to this one uh it is blackpool they are currently 15th in the table um obviously you know we need to bounce back after the sheffield united loss which put us rock bottom of the table and you know blackpool i don't think have won at the hawthorns in like 30 40 odd years i'm not sure of the exact um the exact year when they last won at the Hawthorns. Hopefully that will continue. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Coventry, though, have been on a roll recently. You know, they had a great 3-3 draw against Sheffield United uh, a few weeks ago. OK, they lost to Hull 3-1. And um, yeah, they had a great derby win against Preston. Emphatic 4-2 derby win against Preston. And of course... On Saturday, well, while we were losing to Sheffield, um, later on that day, they went and beat Coventry at the CBS Arena 2-1. So, yeah, it is, uh, it is something to look out for. You know, we should not underestimate um, Blackpool. Uh, as I said, yeah, they are 15th in the table and they actually hold the uh, top scorer in their squad at the moment, Jerry Yates. So he's one to watch out for today. Um, yeah, he's uh, had nine goals in seventy in the first seventeen games, two assists. So yeah, I mean, um, Jerry Yates is definitely one we got to watch out for. Um, what I will say is shout out to Lee Charles of Lee Charles TV. Um, he does vlogs for Blackpool as well, and um, I've recently watched his content. So, Lee, if you're watching, you know, much respect from a fellow match vlogger, and let's hope for a good game today. Uh, predictions will come later on. Um, I might see Connor from West Brom Fan TV or the guys from All Things Midlands there, depending on, you know, whether, you know, we bump into each other. Because uh, at the moment, it's been a bit by chance um, at the moment. But yeah, I mean, really looking forward to this one. A uh, bit of a personal one for me as well, because uh, my sister's partner is from Blackpool. So I've got to get bragging rights within the family. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, come on, guys. Boing, boing. Guys, here 
chat with a very special guest, um, probably the first time I've actually interviewed an away fan, uh, Lee Charles uh, from Lee Charles TV. Yep. How are you doing, mate? How was the journey? Oh, the journey was fine. Bit of Bye congestion. Sat nav went out about 20 minutes, but that was all really. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fine, really, no, no problems. Uh, it's convenient for the motorway and everything. I think it's you yeah. know, well situated in it as a ground. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> See, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Get on this yeah. <laughs> uh, so, that was interesting then. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's characters, that's what you Yeah, absolutely, answer. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um I mean on to Blackpool. Yeah. Um I mean I've got family who were born in Blackpool, so I know the club. Yeah. Um I've followed the club as well as West Bromwich Albion. Yeah. Uh 15th in the table at the moment. Yeah. Done well. I mean I've seen the Coventry uh win yeah, and well, that was pretty impressive. We've been playing better for quite a long time. It's a weird thing at Blackpool because we lost Critchley in the summer and Appleton came in and it, it wasn't popular to be honest because he'd been with us before. Although it'd only been ten weeks, he came after Holloway and just saw the Oysters and left. Yeah, you know? So yeah. we kind of understand why he left because the yeah. club was in chaos. So he's come back, but a lot of the fans don't like it, you know, somebody coming back a second time around and of course, yeah. they weren't keen the fact he'd left. But um, I spoke to a Lincoln a uh, vlogger called Jake T Tong who does the Stacey West podcast and he was saying he loved Appleton when he was at Lincoln so yeah, I thought yeah. maybe he's alright and we're, we're starting to see the kind of football that we like at Blackpool the way that Holloway plays you know where you're just attacking yeah. attacking and it, you know if you score three we'll get a five that kind of football is what I like yeah, yeah. Critchley was all pass around the back pass around I can't be doing that so yeah. it's been getting better for quite a while we should have beaten Norwich at home we, we hammered Sunderland in the second half and couldn't just get the win and uh, the, the only anomaly really was Hull where we because we had that game against Sheffield United Sheffield got United, yeah, three red yeah. cards and it kind of affected us but back against the Nobbers we beat them 4-2 so that's massive for us yeah, and they were, yeah, they were on a high and they went to Coventry and uh, they could have had eight yeah. you know but Coventry could have had three or four yeah, you know it was that kind of game yeah. it was a really exciting game so just hoping yeah. we give you a good game we don't embarrass ourselves yeah. every West Brom fan of sports who keeps telling me you're going to lose and that generally means that you're going to win because yeah. tonight you'll turn up you'll be like Barcelona <laughs> and we'll just yeah. we'll meet you on the wrong night you know Absolutely. so we don't uh, count our chickens Blackpool yeah. fans so I know you've got the top scorer in the league so we far have, Tommy yeah. Yates Jerry Yates uh, Jerry Yates sorry um any other danger men we should be looking out for? Uh, well, always Gary Medine, really, and yeah. of course we've got Charlie Patino in the middle and Sonny Carey, who are two you know young lads that are really you know good players. Um, Jerry Yates, I'd say, top scorer in the championship, valued at five million by everybody because he plays for Blackpool. If he was playing for you, he'd be twenty million. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just they look at us and think, but he's a top scorer. There's yeah. no way he's a five million pound. You know, there is rumours, people looking at him, but he's on a long contract, so he's not like Bowler where we yeah, had to sell him because uh, his contract was out. So, yeah. so hopefully we'll keep him. He loves it here. We love him. Absolutely. So, guys, check out Lee Charles TV. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks. Right. Okay, guys, once again, joined by Connor and Liam from West Brom Fan TV. Uh, guys, after Saturday, uh, what are your thoughts tonight? I'm just hoping that we get back to winning ways, but like I said on my vlog, I can't see us winning tonight. Um, I'm going to go with a 1-0 uh, Blackpool win. I'm sorry to say it, but I'm sick of backing this team, to be completely honest. I'll get behind the players and stuff like that, but performances need to be a lot better yeah um, absolutely hopefully we can win tonight and you know call the hands at a few sessions now even then i'm not going to blame it on the manager if we do lose because a lot of it's the players the ownership i'll be joining in with the uh protest at, on the 12th minute where yeah. we all flash our phones or whatever hopefully that's just the start yeah yeah uh liam um, a bit like what connor said to be honest like um it's like we're constantly backing them to win all the time and they just let us down. Um, hopefully Corbrand's managed to have a few sessions and get through to him and hopefully it'll spark something tonight. Yeah. But um, like I say, I ain't got much hope in some of these players who play for this club. Some of them should never put on an Albion shirt again after that Sheffield United performance. Yeah, and I'm hearing Carl Bartley starting as well. Yeah, that's so. what I mean. Like, so, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say... Uh, 2-0 win to Blackpool tonight. Um, yeah, yeah. But they come here full of confidence, yeah. don't they, to be honest? The, yeah. only, the only positive is, um, Lee Charles just mentioned it, uh, they haven't won here in a long time, but obviously it's Albion, and yeah. it's Albion this season, so they're more than likely going to get a win based on that. Yeah, absolutely. But you know what? We've just got to try and back the players, because although they're terrible, 
we still need results. Yeah, and absolutely. If not. we lose tonight, we're in danger. Because yeah. if we fall three or four points adrift, then, then, then we are in some serious trouble, aren't we? To big teams like Derby, yeah. like Wolves, you know, this has happened to a few yeah. big teams and we don't want to be the next one. No, definitely Sheffield not. Wednesday was another one that yeah. recently went. We don't yeah. want that to happen, but come on, Albion. Of course. <laughs> Prediction time. We're here in the stadium. Um, obviously, you know all the uh, all the uh, fan interviews took a while. Uh, big thanks to Lee Charles uh, from Lee Charles TV, the Blackpool fan channel, and um, to also to Connor and Liam at West Brom Fan TV. Links will be in the description below, guys. What's your uh, prediction, Devon? I hate to say this: two one Blackpool. Two one to Blackpool. I'm thinking 2-1 the other way. I'm thinking 2-1 the other way, guys. So, yeah, they're just coming out now. Come on, Baggies. Bye-bye. So, yeah, guys, um, Darren is saying 2-1 to Blackpool. Uh, goal scorers. I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Here we go. Alex Palmer in goal. Hey, Connell Furlong. Hey, Connor Townsend. Hey, Darby O'Shea, captain. So that's, that means no Jake Livermore. Carl Bartley starts. We knew that. Matty Phillips. Jed Wallace. Hey, Colin Grant. Hey, John Swift. And TGH, Taylor Garner Hickman, and Okai Yakuslu. So I'm predicting 2 1. Uh, Jerry Yates to score their goal, and I'm predicting, if he's on the bench, Dean Garner to score, to, to score both goals. Is he? Button, Roderick, Livermore, Dean Garner, Malumbi, uh, Thomas Asante, and I didn't quite catch the other one. Uh, Eric Peters, uh, just a bit of an issue with the screen there. So yeah, Grady Dean Garner to come off the bench to score two. That's my hope. So come on, Baggies, boy, boy. Hi guys, Blackpool have just kicked off the first half in their all orange strip um, or gold, depending on how you. Uh, orange. Yeah, definitely orange. orange. But the tangerine. wolves. Yeah, tangerine. The wolf. The wolves call it gold. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so Blackpool kick off the first half. Oh! Almost 20 seconds, putting pressure on their keeper already. So yeah, come on Albion. Bye bye. All right guys, five minutes played. Um, for the most part, it's been um, all Albion, uh, possession wise and chance wise. Uh, we had a corner, um, which uh, almost resulted in a goal. Uh, Blackpool have had one shot of notes, but it was high and wide. Um, but yeah, it, based on possession, uh, the <laughs> the Smerwick Enders say saying their thoughts about the uh, about the board and the owner, obviously. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, Blackpool have had one shot of note. It was high and wide. Um, we've had most of the possession and most of the momentum. So six minutes play, guys. And it's still, Black, uh, it's still West Bromwich Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Come on, Baggies. Eight minutes play, guys. Some good pressure from the Albion. Nearly, uh, Blackpool nearly scored an own goal there. Uh, corner to us, John Swift to take it. Oh, no, away from Blackpool. But yeah, Blackpool almost scored an own goal there, um, conceding the corner. Uh, comes back over here to Swifty. Oh. <laughs> Come on. It's crossed in, it's crossed in. Oh! Carl Bartley nearly with the head, but it went wide almost for. Redeemed yeah, himself. almost redeemed himself from getting that red card the other game. Um, but yeah, it's a Blackpool goal kick now. Uh, nearly nine minutes play, guys, and it's still Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Seven minutes play, guys. We get a corner. Come on. Make it count. Come make on, it make count. it count. Make it count. Oh, swung in. Swung in. Oh! Blackpool getting away. Ooh. Headed back in, 
Uh, Only to Blackpool though. 11 minutes play guys and it's still Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Guys, everyone is turning their torches on on their phones. So as I was saying guys, uh, on the 12th minute, um, peaceful protest from the Albion fans. Uh, majority, oh God! Oh, we almost went, got through there. We almost got through there. Uh, on the 14th minute, we almost got through there. Um, but obviously keep our safely, uh, safely gathered from Blackpool's perspective. But yeah, as I was saying guys, on the 12th minute, uh, a bit of a peaceful protest from the West Brom Albion fans, all turning their um, their lights on their phones on, uh, the torches on the 12th minute to represent the 12 million that Gauchin Lai has pretty much taken out of West Brom Albion. Which uh, is stupid. Exactly, you know, so, and that was followed by a chance of where's the money gone. So, yeah, peaceful protest, guys, um, you know, and yeah that was uh that was something else that was something else guys that's gonna be you know just one thing in a long list of uh different things that the albion fans are gonna do guys uh but back to the game now 15 minutes played and it's still albion nil blackpool nil You're wondering what that chair was it was because a blackpool player um tried to do some fancy feet and kicked it out so yeah donnell furlong with he the won't towel be on strictly no <laughs> so donnell furlong with the towel long come throw on, come on 17 minutes 50 seconds oh. played nearly 18 minutes <laughs> still albion nil blackpool nil oh. all that for a short corner to um corner. to uh, short throw in to taylor garner hickman so that kind of threw everyone off a little bit. Oh! Okay, I thought that was a push just on the outside, but we keep it in, recycle it. Blackpool were probably expecting it to go out. Oh! Oh! Head by, um, header, header by a Blackpool defender. And it's out for an Albion throw. Come on, baggies! Much better than Saturday. Absolutely, much better than Saturday so far. 18 and a half minutes play guys, still Albion nil, Blackpool nil, but we are on the front foot. Come on baggies! 20 minutes play guys and chance of you're not fit to referee from the Albion fans directed towards the ref. Uh, that was in response to um, Taylor Garner Hickman um, being held by a Blackpool defender um, and right the referee in front of us. right in front of us and the referee giving nothing. Uh, Smeviken was the most vocal to be honest. And that's, that's a, there we go. Cheers now because he's given us a free kick. Cheers now because he's given us a free kick. But to be honest, the guy was pulled back. Uh, our guy couldn't see who it was. Uh, definitely pulled back. Um, right in front of the east stand. And yeah, referee had no choice there, to be honest. No. Uh, 21 minutes play, guys. Still Albion nil, Blackpool nil. But we do have a free kick in a promising position. Come on, Albion. Uh, 21 minutes play, guys. That free kick, unfortunately for the Albion, came to nothing. Uh, still, Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Come at, on, Albion. At least it's not 2-0. At least it's not 2-0 by now, you know, uh, like it was on Saturday. But yeah, 22 minutes played. Still nil. 28 nil. minutes play, guys. First yellow card of the game goes to Blackpool. Uh, I think it was Taylor Gardner Hickman that was through, uh, got what pulled is back. Blackpool got pulled back, but Blackpool's number 12 is uh, disagreeing with something. So, but it is our free kick. It is our free kick. So, um, yeah. So it's a yellow card. Yellow card to Blackpool. Uh, one of their players. Because uh, to be honest, let's face it. If he had beat, uh, if Taylor Gardner Hickman had beat him, he would be through on goal. Um, so, you know, not so much a tactical foul because it was a goal-scoring opportunity, but still warranted a booking. So, come on. 
just need someone to dink this. Yeah, uh, dink it. Just stay on side, guys, because this linesman is watching you like a hawk. Dinking it over, oh. and only as far as a Blackpool player. But we, we recycle it, trying to get it in. Oh, go on. Oh, Swifty nearly got it. Corner. It's a corner. corner. Swifty nearly got it, but it is an Albion corner. 29 minutes played, guys. Nearly half an hour. Nearly half an hour played, and it's still Albion nil, Blackpool oh, nil. Quick. quick, short corner from um, from Swift to Wallace. Uh, oh, no, one there. no one's there. Oh, Blackpool no get it out, there. but only as far as uh, only as far as Connor Townsend for a throw. <laughs> Uh, half an hour played guys there about and it's still nil nil guys 31 minutes played guys nearly 32 chance of the match so far uh, forced to Carlin Grant he managed to break through Blackpool's defence uh, forced oh. a good save from their keeper who held it well um, but yeah that has been chance of the match we come back we come back come on guys over oh it's over everyone it's over everyone can Darnell recycle that no it's uh it's a Blackpool throw, but that Carlin Grant chance there forced a good save from their keeper. CJ Hamilton. CJ Hamilton, yeah, that that um, stopped Darnell from getting the uh, getting the ball, and it's now a Blackpool throw. Um, so yeah, 32 and a half minutes played, guys. Still Albion nil, Blackpool nil, but we've just seen the chance of the match so far. 34 minutes played, guys. We get a free kick. Um, couldn't see who it was, but one of our guys got dragged back. Um, so it's literally level with the uh, six yard line it's level with the six yard line right in front of the away fans come on guys there's a bit of tussling going on bit of pushing and shoving in the box the referee's going to sort that out Bartley Bartley is it yeah because Bartley's up, up here careful Bartley yeah Bartley's up here because um, obviously this is a very promising position level with the six yard line come on come on Go away, right. It's here! Oh, oh, and it's over everyone for a Blackpool goal kick. I knew it. 35 minutes played, guys. Still somehow Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Come on, Albion, we gotta take chances like that. 38 minutes played, guys. It looks like Carlin Grant has gone down, the physio's on, the crowd's calling for Thomas Asante. Um, so yeah, a bit of a break in play. Overall, guys, we have had the majority of the possession. It looks like um, we have had the best chance of the game with Carlin Grant um, forcing a decent save from their keeper. Uh, but overall, it's still nil-nil at the moment. Um, and yeah, Grant is currently receiving treatment. It looks like Grant. Should I be happy um, about it or not? Uh, probably not because it's another striker injury. No, um, no to be not. honest, you know, with uh, with DK oh, still out as well. Sure. Uh, to be honest but as the crowd will rightly tell you we have got Thomas Asante on the bench so maybe he could do something but we can't we can't keep crossing and long balling up to a guy like Thomas Asante because these are big powerful Blackpool defenders here so you know we need we need a game plan if Grant has to we need a game plan if Grant has to come off temporarily reduced down to 10 men guys Grant He's coming off with the physio. Whether he'll come back on, I don't know. Like um, I'll keep you posted. But yeah, 39 played. It's a drop ball to us, ref. Because uh, we had possession when the ref blew for Grant to get some treatment. Um, but yeah, we're temporarily down to 10. It's our ball, though. Uh, 39 minutes played, guys. And it's still Albion nil, Blackpool nil. 40 minutes played, guys. A uh, quick update on Grant. He is back on the field, so hopefully it's not too serious. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Palmer clears that away. Um, so, yeah, it's still Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Albion back up to 11 men. Come on, Albion. Three played, guys. Just before half-time, we get a corner. John Swift with the corner. Come on. Oh. Swung in. Oh, oh. oh, that was on target. Carl Bartley with the header, easy save, easy save for the keeper in the end, but it, but was, it was a shot on target, it was another chance. Uh, 43 and a half minutes played guys, still Albion nil, Blackpool nil, and yeah, um, nearly half time guys, this is looking to be a half time score at the moment, nil nil. Oh. Two minutes added on at the end of the first half guys, 
two minutes added on. Still, Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Come on, Albion. All right, guys, half time. West Bromwich Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Uh, much better performance than Saturday against Sheffield United, it has to be said. We go into the break all square. What's your thoughts, Darren? A lot better than Saturday, I say. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, we've had the majority of the possession. Uh, we've had quite a few chances, forced a few good saves from their keeper. Um, there's only one shot of note that I can remember from Blackpool's perspective, yeah. which was high and wide in yeah. the first few minutes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, um, we've had the majority of the possession. We seem to be... Just, um, just, just keep it going. In yeah, exactly. Half, exactly. What I say. Yeah. There was a few urges of, um, you know, a few people urging the team forward, obviously, but in the end, you know, we're keeping possession and overall a much better half than the yeah, first half on Saturday. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I'm, any I'm, thoughts for the second half? Keep going, they're saying. Absolutely. Keep going and, you know, hopefully get a goal. Um, we haven't seen a goal at the Smevic end again for the Albion. So, hopefully, they seem to favour scoring down the Brummy Road. Uh, so, hopefully, that's the case now. Um, but, yeah, as it stands, guys, half-time score. West Bromwich Albion nil, Blackpool nil, second half coming up next. All right, guys, second half just about to kick off. Uh, there has been a change to the Blackpool lineup. Um, Lavery is on for, I think it was called Callum Wright, is it? Yeah. Yeah, Callum Wright off, Shane Lavery on. Yeah. Yeah, so half time change for Blackpool. We're just about to get the second half underway. Come on, baggies. Bye bye. Uh, 46 and a half minutes played, guys. Um, Blackpool get their second booking of the game. Um, yeah, definite foul um, on. Couldn't see who it was, but the uh, the linesman saw it was a foul. So, um, yeah, but we nearly we nearly conceded, guys. I mean, not sure who it was, but um, you know. Um, one of our guys literally, you know, was dawdling on the ball and uh, it might have been Gary oh, Medine or um, or someone like that uh, basically tackled him uh, while he was dawdling on the ball. Um, if it weren't for Carl Bartley um, blocking the shot, it might have been 1-0 to Blackpool. So we got a wake up and that was almost straight from kickoff, guys. Uh, so and it, 40 was and it was our kickoff as well. Yeah, dawdling on the ball. Can't do too many of them. 47... Uh, nearly 48 minutes played guys and it's still Albion nil, Blackpool nil. 49 played guys, nearly 1-0 to the Albion. Um, just a little bit too high but it was a great shot I think from Jed Wallace, not too sure. Um, but yeah. It looked like it was going to head in top it, corner. It looked like it was going to go top corner and then just dipped a little bit higher and it was marginally over. Uh, but that that. You know, that has been a really great chance for the Albion, nearly 1-0 to us, but somehow it's still oh. it's oh. still Albion nil, oh, Blackpool Bartley. nil. Bartley got the ball and we clear. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh there's a chase on, keeper oh. claims, their keeper claims. Uh, so 49 and a half minutes played guys, still somehow Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Oh. Blackpool get a free kick, Doro Shea gets booked. A tactical foul really because um, Blackpool would have been away and we clear we clear so we're trying to play trying to get the ball out but Blackpool send it back in we clear again um, and Blackpool Blackpool player being urged to shoot by their fans uh, force wide and it's, it's straight back we're defending it's back to the wall for the Albion at the moment backs to the wall for the Albion but that's never a penalty and we're on the attack that is never a penalty we're on the attack come on, come on go forward and oh. we give we give the ball away but oh, it is fun. an Albion throw 51 and a half minutes play guys still thankfully Albion nil Blackpool nil Darro oh. Shea on a yellow come on guys 52 minutes play guys and in a couple of minutes the yellow card count has gone from 2-0 to Blackpool to 2-2 because Bartley has just been booked for another tactical foul. Yeah, another tactical foul, guys. We can't keep uh, we can't keep doing those. But yeah, so now Bartley has been booked. Blackpool with the free kick. 
We get it away. We get it away. Come on, Jed. Jed's running. Jed's running. Being forced wide. Still being forced no wide. Getting, getting blocked by. Oh, but he gets through! He gets through! Come on! Come on now! Promise! This is promising! Oh, just uh, just wide. Just wide. This was that was promising, guys, after Jed Wallace lost the ball, then got the ball back. Um, but yeah, thankfully it is up that side now. Uh, it is a Blackpool goal kick, however. But yeah, the card count has just gone from 2-0 to 2-2, guys. Uh, so both O'Shea and Bartley need to be careful because they've both done tactical fouls now. So yeah, 53 minutes play, guys, and still somehow it's Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Yeah. 57 minutes play, guys. He's literally just been booked. Jed Wallace comes off. Brady Dean Garner comes on. Literally, his last act of the game, Jed Wallace, was to get booked. So, Jed Wallace off, Grady Dean Garner on. Um, it, the board was kind of flashing 17 for 11 before Jed Wallace got that book in, but it, it's kind of a good thing he's coming off now, then. Uh, literally, just getting booked. It's a free kick to Blackpool, which Carl Bartley defends uh, to Darnell Furlong. Gets it, gets it away. That's good. That's good. Come on, guys. Keep possession. Get up there. Score at the Brummy Road. That's what we need. Come on. Oh, and it's run out, run out of pitch, but it's it's up there by the uh, corner of the east stand in the Brummy Road. So yeah, our first substitution by Carlos Corbran, and it's uh, Jed Wallace who literally just got booked uh, on um, Jed Wallace off for Grady Diangana. Come on, Albion, still nil nil. 62 minutes play, guys. Nearly one nil to the Albion. Uh, decent chance, just couldn't get past the uh, defenders and the keeper. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we get a, we get a long throw. Well, short throw now. It was Darnell Furlong, but it's taken short. Oh my God. We're trying okay. trying to cross it. Oh, 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 oh no! Blackpool defend. Blackpool defend, but oh, there's no one in this half of the pitch other than Palmer and um, and Townsend. So yeah, I mean, 62 minutes play, guys. Still Albion nil, Blackpool nil. So very, very nearly 1-0 to the Albion, but I don't know how that has not gone in. So yeah. Oh, God! Oh, pressure on the keeper there, but the keeper clears it. Oh, God, God, chase it, chase it. Oh, chase it. yeah. Defender's trying to hold it. Defender's holding it. And it's out. It's out for an Albion throw. 63 minutes play, guys. You can hear the Hawthorns. Momentum is with us. 63 and a half minutes play, guys. Still somehow. Albion nil. Blackpool nil. But the momentum is with the Albion. Come on. 64 minutes play, guys. Throw to the Albion. But Blackpool make a sub. I think it's Gavin Medine coming off. Yeah, Gavin Medine coming off. Theo Corbino coming on. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, Gavi Medine was starting. So his day is done. Um, yeah, we, we've pretty much kept Medine and Yates quiet so far. Uh, the championship top goal scorer at the moment. Uh, so Corb Corbino is on for Gavi Medine. Second change for Blackpool. 65 minutes played. Still nil nil. Come on, Albion. 71 minutes play, guys. Blackpool. Yeah! I was going to say 71 minutes play, guys, and Blackpool get a free kick. Um, they tried they, they tried passing it outside the box, and the guy who took the shot put it high and not so very handsome. Um, so, yeah, 72 minutes play, guys. Still, thankfully for us, Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Don't speak too soon, Come on, please. come on, clear it. Clear it. Oh what? Oh yeah. no! The, no, that's yeah. Where yeah. was it when I kicked it out, you idiot? Yeah. So, so the linesman, Blackpool basically just before that free kick, Blackpool kicked it out. Yeah. And um, the ref, the linesman did nothing, and then yeah. But yeah, 72 and a half minutes play, guys. Still nil-nil. 75 minutes play, guys. 15 to go. 
and we're making a double sub. We're making a double sub here. Where's Thomas Asante? It's not Thomas Asante, is it? No. no? It's not Thomas Asante. Carl and Gwen comes off Tom for Tom Wodic. Tom Wodic is on for Carl and Grant, not Thomas Asante. Taylor Garner Hickman for Jason Malumbe. Jason Malumbe comes on. So Malumbe and Wodic on for Garner Hickman and Grant. Still no, still no Thomas Asante, guys. 15 minutes to play and we're nil-nil and he hasn't brought on an extra striker in Thomas Asante. Okay, if any, if anything, if anything, um, we've lost our only striker on the pitch really in Carlin Grant. So yeah. on a nil-nil. So work that one out. Uh, 76. Oh, pressure! 76 minutes played, guys. Still Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Come on, baggies. 77 played, guys. After numerous chances to take a shot, we get caught offside with one too many passes. I don't know why this Albion team are afraid to take shots and are constantly trying to work it into the box. It isn't happening where Blackpool are so well organised defensively. And that's why I think Blackpool are big Yeah, it, 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 Albion are just afraid to take shots. I don't know why. But, yeah, I mean... I don't know just someone, someone needs to take a chance and ah. show a moment of magic that's a Blackpool throw. Uh, because... Working it into the box isn't going to no. work against a well-organised defensive team like Blackpool. So, yeah, 78 minutes played, guys, 78 and a half, and it's still Albion nil, Blackpool nil. 82 minutes gone, guys. Um, someone's ready in a sub, not sure who at the moment. Uh, but the game has pretty much, um, pretty much uh, petered out into the midfield. Um, so that goes back to the Blackpool keeper and yeah I mean nil nil you know we've had chances we've had chances but yeah that's a Blackpool throw uh, we've had oh, oh. oh Thomas Asante is coming on Matty Phillips comes off Brandon Brandon Thomas Asante on 83 minutes on 83 minutes, when we need a goal, yeah, eight minutes to get a goal for Thomas Asante. Personally, I think he should get some more game time than eight minutes, but, you know, eight minutes to make an impact. Come on, guys. Still nil-nil. And away Thomas Asante goes. Can we get it to him? Can we get it to him? Come on. Come on. Oh! The ball, the ball gets away. The ball gets away from Yakuslu, I think it was. Not sure. But Thomas Asante on with about seven, eight minutes to go. Personally, I think he should get some more game time than eight minutes on yeah. a nil-nil. Especially on a nil-nil. Right, shoot! Why are we trying the extra pass? Someone take a shot. Someone take a chance. It's an Albion corner. It's an Albion corner, guys. 83 and a half, gone. And it's Albion nil, Blackpool nil. Thomas Asante comes on. Come on, guys. I'm just about to take this corner, guys. It's floated over. Oh, oh, Blackpool head gets to it. It's another corner. It's another corner. Come on. Come on, guys. Six minutes to go, plus stoppage. Six minutes plus stoppage. Can we nick, just like the last time we played Blackpool here, can we nick a last minute winner? And, and we do remember what happened there. Sorry, Lee. Um, but yeah, we do remember what happened in the last um, Albion Blackpool game here in April earlier this year. Good! Yes! We did it again! We did it again! We did it again! Last minute winner, part two! Last minute winner, part two! Oh my god! Oh my god! Last minute winner, part two! Oh! I think 
think that's I think that's Yakuslu's first goal for the Albion this oh, turn. Yes. Come on! Yes. Oh. Blackpool! Oh. Blackpool! Oh. Same feeling as April earlier this year. Oh, exact wow. same feeling as April wow. this year. Just, just oh my God. Just keep, it. just keep it now. Just keep it. Just keep it. It's, okay, it's not quite a last minute winner. No. Kind of the emotion got to me then. But it's almost a carbon copy of what happened in the, the last time Blackpool came to the Hawthorns. Blackpool get a throw now. Blackpool get a throw. But we do get a light goal. Another light goal against Blackpool here at the Hawthorns. I hope it's going to be the first win I've been at, at the Hawthorns. Yeah, because you missed the whole win. Yeah. Come on. Oh, my God. That's us. Thank you. 86 and a half minutes played, guys. Three and a half. Plus stoppage to go. Blackpool have a sub. The, the championship top scorer doesn't get a goal tonight. Wow. Jerry Yates comes off. Ian Paveda comes on. The championship top scorer does not get a goal at the Hawthorns. Come on. Come on. Albion won. Chance that we scored at home as well. Albion 1, Blackpool 0, 3 minutes plus stoppage to go, come on Baggy! Oh, Damage yeah, just touched on a good point, Blackpool have been massively in form, you know, no disrespect to Blackpool. I I've got you know, full respect for Blackpool. Full respect, they came and gave us a game. 4 minutes Four added minutes. on. Four minutes added on. We're 1-0 up. This would only be in our 18th game of the campaign. Third. Uh, only our third win if of the season. It. Second if. at the Hawthorns if we come keep on, it. Come on, come this on. would only be our second win at the Hawthorns this term. In our 18th game, guys. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on guys. Come on. Four minutes added on, we're in that now. Albion won, Blackpool nil. Come on, guys. We were playing a bit of keepy in the corner, but the linesman, the linesman gives a foul to Blackpool, so don't really keep it in the corner well there. But yeah, they're gonna send everyone forward now. This is nervy for the Albion now. This is nervy for the Albion. You know, the, their keeper urging everyone to go up to go forward but yeah come on guys come on we need to we need to get this win we need to get this win it, it'll only be our third win in 18 yes free kick to us free kick to us that will run down some time guys Albion 1 Blackpool 0 surely there's not much left come on guys <laughs> chance of sack the dingle aimed at Michael Appleton ah! I win, sorry Blackpool, another late winner against Blackpool for the Albion at the Hawthorns, just like earlier this year. Hang on, he blew for full time guys, but the game's still carrying on. He blew for full time, the game's still carrying on. What's happening? He blew for full time, but the game's still carrying on. Seriously? Oh no. I hope don't get No, you. no, four minutes have gone now. Why are we still playing? Why are we it's, still playing? It's only three minutes. It's a... Oh no. All right, no. it's a free kick to Blackpool. No. We all thought, because the way the whistle blown, no. we thought it was full time. We, 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 we thought can't be cheated. We, we all thought be... it was full time. Come on, no. guys. No. Come on. That's it, it's got to be out, it's got to go out, just boot it, yeah, there we go, there we go, it's only our third win of the campaign, our second
second of the Hawthorns. The first time they won this season and I've been here. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Coventry won. Borough won. Hallelujah. <laughs> Finally. It's been a long time coming, but long time coming, but we have won. And the Hawthorns. Yes. Finally! Yes, Albion! Oh! Yes! We got a win! It took some doing! Credit to Blackpool! You know, they're going to go back up the M6 disappointed, I'm sure. As will Lee Charles. Um, but yeah! Guys! Best match in ages. Oh my days. Especially after Saturday. Yeah, from the from the uh oh, from the disappointment of Saturday against Sheffield United to the elation. Another late goal in an Albion versus Blackpool match. Second time this year. Another late winner for the Albion. Blackpool still don't win at the Hawthorns. And yeah, all credit to Blackpool. You came, you gave us a game. We had to work for that win. It's only our third win of the season. Might not be enough to get us out the bottom three, but we'll take the three points and keep them here at the Hawthorns. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm just in my Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please leave a like, subscribe to Crazy Shadow 303, or rather Crazy Shadow Talks Football, if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to join my Shadow Squad and get notified on all new content on the channel. From a corner, you could with the poacher's goal. Awesome. From a corner, poacher's goal from Yakuzlu. What a game. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to join my shadow squad and get notified on all new content on the channel. And that's for you, Kaz. Absolutely. Shout out to Kaz, Davin's partner. Uh, and yeah, and shout out as well to Connor and Liam from West Brom Fan TV. And also, and massive respect to this guy, to Lee Charles of Lee Charles TV, the best Blackpool fan channel you'll ever hope to see. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one at, against Stoke, the last game before the break for the World Cup. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye for now. What a win. Bye-bye.